guys, John Hal here, and in this video, or the title of this video is Time Management. Do what is most important to get done. This is just another segment to help you guys when it comes to the flow of success. Another segment of this, and remember, for things to change, you need to change, and it's so important to remember that. Now, let's move forward on the topic of this video. Time management, everyone keeps talking about different time management techniques and different things and you know different outcome different plannings and different things you can do to help you help you move forward you know what i mean so but in this video i'm just going to give you a quick few things that really really help you out when it comes to making more progress that's what it's all about right making progress because that's what you want so many people are doing so much so many things in life where so many things in life where they're not making progress, right? They're just being busy, be, uh, uh, busy being busy, but not actually moving forward. You know what I mean? Like you probably, you probably know yourself. I've been plenty of days where I've just been doing stuff. I was like, what did I actually do today? Watch a lot of YouTube videos. <laughs> you know, he's like guilty. So, but the thing is, is actually, you know, time management. Do what is most important to do. The first thing is, is to know what you want your outcome. But the next thing is like, what are the major steps that you need to do in order to move forward towards those outcomes? And you and it's important to be working on those every day. So the thing is this guys, is that when you move forward in life and when you're actually taking action in life, it's, you know, it's, it's important that you say, okay, during the day, I have 24 hours in a day. And you may work a normal nine to five job or whatever, but you have these other goals, maybe health, maybe financial, maybe investment, whatever. It's like, okay, during the day, you know, where can I set an hour every day, or at least five days a week, six days a week, whatever you want to do, an hour, two hours. What can I do? Where can I actually set that time aside, that hour? And then, and then within that hour, what I would call block time, you're 100% focused on learning, educating, and doing the activities that you need to do in order for you to start to at least gain momentum towards your ultimate outcome. That's why it's so important, one, to have your ultimate outcome, be clear what you want. Secondly, is that to actually write, a, write the major things that you need to get done to start making massive progress. And you know yourself, right? If you say you want to become healthy, what are the major things that you need to do? And then, and then what, what's important is, okay, if this is important to me, how can I sit just even an hour aside? That, now that doesn't sound like much, right? An hour a day? Doesn't sound like much out of 24? Just one hour? What is that? Seven hours per week? 14 hours per fortnight? Was that 28, almost 30 hours a month? Times by 30? You do the math, I'm not going to be <laughs> because I'm doing this live or the recording right now. So, but you know what I'm saying? And so it doesn't have to be a lot of people like a lot of people like I want to I want to be a hundred percent in and uh, you know that's it I want to be I'm, if I'm not if I'm not a hundred percent in then I'm nothing at all it's like no take your time I'll give you an example I want to start looking at property as a cash flow investment for me not 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 capital gain mainly cash flow my retirement account and so on and so forth so for me I'm very busy doing my business recording videos I do my trading uh, I, I've got my coaching clients. Uh, I've just finished writing a book as well too. That's obviously what this what this segment's all about, the flow of success. If you haven't checked it, go check it on Amazon. <laughs> um, so I'm doing a lot of things, right? So I said, okay, what do I need to do in order to actually block that time out? What do I need to do? So for me, what I've done is that, okay, uh, firstly, there's a, there's, a, there's a probably eight or nine major things that I need to get done for my business, my trading, and so on and so forth, my clients. So I said, okay, after I've got those done, then what I need to do is I need to I need to segment time out during the week to actually focus purely on educating myself around property, looking for property, and actually just and obviously just buying property, buying the investments in property. Makes sense. So, but I need to block that time out. If if my 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 ultimate goal is to make positive cash flow through property, now I know my outcome. It's cash flow. It's not just any property, but it's cash flow property. So now I know my outcome. And now after that, what do I do? Is that now I sit down, it's like a, an hour a day, or even if it's an hour every second day. Do you know what I mean? It's like, but once you do that, over 12 months, now you've taken just an hour a day, 
which doesn't seem like much, or two, or two hours a day, or it might be saying, you know what, every Sunday I'm gonna do five hours worth of just time, you know? Two hour block time. Every two hour, or two hours I'm gonna focus, have a half an hour break, another two hours I'm gonna focus, and then that's it for the week. You know what I mean? Like maybe take one afternoon. Or maybe you take one night from say seven through to seven, eight, nine, ten. So maybe maybe from seven through to ten, maybe seven through to eleven, you just spend one night, just one full night, just going for it, going for it, going for it, and that's it. You know what I mean? Like you're blocking the time out. But that's important for you to do is that that's time management. So your outcome, your what what's most important for you to do, and then it's important to actually work on those things so you're actually making progress. You're not just doing things every day and then a week goes later, a month goes later, it's like, yep, same day, different shit. <laughs> it's like, no, you know, like, Let's get the excitement in life. Let's get the enjoyment in life because actually to move forward and say, yes, let's actually make that progress. Because at the end of the day, if you feel like you're moving forward in life, that's where the ultimate happiness comes from. So, time management. Do what's most important to get done. And guess what? Those most important things you need to get done, you probably don't want to do them because they're painful, they're difficult. You may have to face your fears. Guess what? That's what everyone has to go through. So it's important to step up and move forward in that way and start taking that. So there's a, there's a couple of different things there guys. Outcome, action steps, and just start getting to work on what's important to get done and be patient and allow momentum, allow time to actually start working on your side. There we go guys, hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, it's John Hal here again. If you like this video, then hit that like button and share this video with your friends to help them out as well. I really appreciate you sharing this video around with your friends and family. If you did like this video, then you're really going to like my brand new book called The Flow of Success. Tap into the top 19 powerful universal laws to succeed in every area of your life faster and easier than ever before. As I record this video, I'm doing a special launch price, so click on the book image or there's a link in the description as well to check it out to check the actual book as well on Amazon. Remember, success can be yours if you go claim it, so step up, take massive action and face your fears today.